New developments in the ongoing investigation into the murder of 19-year-old Sade Robinson. Investigators are continuing to look for clues in the case as Robinson supporters are holding demonstrations in her honor. CBS 58's Adam Reif is live outside the pizza shuttle on Milwaukee's east side to break down some new information for us. Adam? That's right, in this pizza shuttle location above us is where Sade Robinson worked. In fact, it was a co-worker who first called to report her missing after she did not show up to work the day after she went on a date with Maxwell Anderson. Today, several people gathered here to show their support for Sade after they first gathered outside Maxwell Anderson's house again, where inside, investigators returned to look for clues. Say her name! Sade! What's her name? Sade! A group of roughly 20 supporters continued to demonstrate for Sade Robinson Tuesday. The group consisted of a few family members and a few friends, but the majority were strangers who did not know Sade, but still wanted to honor her and support her family. They started at Maxwell Anderson's house Tuesday afternoon. That house looked much different from the night before, when there was an overwhelming display of support during a pink out. They filled Anderson's yard and covered his home with balloons, posters, and messages supporting Sade. But at some point overnight, someone removed most of those decorations, so Sade's supporters returned Tuesday. Police tape and stationed officers kept them off the property this time, but they replaced many of the items on the sidewalk, trees, and the street itself. When the group started impacting traffic and causing backups, police cruisers blocked off each end of the block to prevent cars from driving past the house. Meanwhile, a flurry of activity was going on inside the house. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office confirmed investigators were back, quietly conducting a follow-up search. With little attention, they blocked off the rear alley and entered the home through the back entrance. They drew the blinds in Anderson's upstairs apartment and put up black plastic to block out the downstairs picture window. Still, many of Sade's supporters noticed the activity and went through the backyards to look. They shared these photos with us of Anderson's backyard. When rain started to fall in the early evening, they packed up and headed out to the pizza shuttle on Farwell, where Sade Robinson worked. Strong winds kept them from staying long, but they left a mark, more messages of support and pledges for justice. Now this evening, I asked the sheriff's office if they're specifically looking for more missing body parts or forensic evidence. A spokesperson declined to get into specifics, but did say that investigative team is looking for any and all evidence. Live here in Milwaukee, Adam Wright, CBS 58 News.